Well, okay then. Blotto! <laughs> so, as usual, the guests have been swapped out every three videos, and we have one extra, as you unfortunately know us because Shag is very observant. Wait, what? Oh god, what's going on? Oh, it's Rao <laughs> Cow, what the hell? Rao Cow, Rao are you alive? Yeah, I'm there, I'm there. Oh, I'm just watching the watermelons. <laughs> <laughs> Your volume was really high for some reason. Yeah. Pink was all like, we got a time crunch, we got a time crunch, make everything work, hurry it up. And I was like, what, what's the, we'll see. Okay, okay, jeez. Destroy that, destroy that cannon quack, why don't you? <laughs> May I join my kid shag and round count today. So, this is an 100 coin star, so I'm just gonna start off by saying, hey round count, what is your history with this game? I played it while I was a younger child, and I feel relatively indifferent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a... so quick question. Did anyone figure out what that disturbing, undulating orange gelatin is over there? Um, I didn't question it very much, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Don't question it. So, it's polygons. <laughs> this is the Gelato Beach 100 coin shine. You Where taunting that catacrack. No, I need Oh wow, it. you got me you got me for a real good mission here to freaking 100 <laughs> coin thing. Yeah, this really? is like Well, you know, I figured we have lots of empty space on this side. Um, so. <laughs> did you just telefrag that guy with a sign? He crashed into the sign on his own, I assure you. <laughs> that one's a turtle. I don't think I ever realized. You really have to do you really have to min-max this much for this one? <laughs> yes. This is the most Good painful God. 100 coin star in the entire game. And it's because Cataquax, actually. Because <laughs> these guys... I mean, I like Cataquax and everything. And I'm glad that they showed up more than once. Conceptually, they're neat. Mm -hmm. yes. I didn't know that they were this much of a pain. If I didn't have to use a freaking, you know, Dune Bud to kill them, <laughs> then it wouldn't be as much of a problem. You can kill them easier in later games, thankfully, I guess. What? I so don't... is the green thing their eyes? Um... I guess so! That's the only thing that would make sense. Did that's... Have, like... I mean, that's... if that's the case, they're pretty dang good at tracking you, considering... <laughs> <laughs> they're clearly prey animals. <laughs> <laughs> their eyes on the side of their head like they're a bug or something. I feel a certain level of satisfaction to killing each and every one of them. <laughs> That's let's fair. watch pot let's watch pink sociopathic tendencies as described in Mario <laughs> They destroyed all the watermelons, man! They gotta go! <laughs> Are you sure this is the best stage for hundred coins? I'm positive, because unfortunately Gelato doesn't really have very many hundred coins around it at all in any episode. I look uh, out that's that's one of the levels where you basically means get all the coins in the level. I look so, out at the so sun-scorched get... horizon, and there's still like 50 cataquacks. So you get one coin for jumping on them, and then more coins for destroying them with... ...stand architecture? <laughs> no, at this point I'm just killing them because I got sick of them ruining other runs. Oh. Well, I mean, it makes sense, because if you don't kill them, it becomes real hard to track which one you got the coin from or not. That oh, too! That, that's a so good basically point. it's a good way of saying, got this one, got this one, because they're dead! <laughs> Oh no, things are about to get real! Oh, that one's blind, apparently. <laughs> I, I swear you could just kill them faster by ground pounding them in one game at least. Double kill! That's my fuck for my. So, how much do you even remember about this game, Rocco? A little. Like, I remember the general worlds, what they are. Kind of like. And, but, like, the, the nitty gritty, the details is way vague. Uh, and I remember that the the weird retro spaces are by far the best parts of the game. Mm -hmm. That's that's probably accurate. Although I do like moving around with Flood quite a bit. So your memory of this game is about as good as the average Pianta's memory of what Mario looks like. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> so I, I didn't I propose I proposed some sort of theory in the first guest commentary by me that. They just can't see texture and color. Yeah, I remember so. <laughs> you saying that. So, of Child course, Mario they basically the same. is Mario without textures on. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's been jumping because why not? Uh, thankfully, it's only the uh, cataclysm on the beach that I have to, you know, as you put it, so she take out one by one. <laughs> 
<laughs> the rest of them don't actually have a Dune Bud to use, so I'm just going to have to be very careful. Which is difficult around Cataquax. <laughs> Beyond is over there performing the ritualistic Cataquax destruction dance. <laughs> <laughs> the funeral rite, please, please pay your respects. <laughs> to the one but, of the but there's no F key in this game, I can't. But, uh, this, this is reminding me, uh, somewhat bizarrely, of a situation in Hawaii, the island I visited. <laughs> That's where... it. just uh, want to point out that it just KO'd itself by hitting the dune bud with its face. <laughs> <laughs> where I, I'm guessing that cataquacks are an invasive species from another kingdom <laughs> because chickens were introduced. To uh, Hawaii in Hawaii, and they're a freaking plague. Oh, and maybe because... maybe they're from Sarasaland because they're super weird. <laughs> and just because I'm not hard enough on myself, I'm also getting all the blue coins in its own separate video, so they're their own <laughs> little obstacle in which I must avoid. <laughs> I think that's making it easier for your for you actually. Well, at least later on. Well, yeah, in long term. Yeah, yeah, it'll also be very helpful for anybody using the videos as a bit of a guide. Mm. Yeah, th there's a lot of there's a lot about this game that just doesn't seem very well planned out. Yeah. Like I don't know anything about the history of this game, like if the development was rushed or not rushed or whatever. But there's just this like the levels themselves are fine, but it's everything around that feels just tiny a little bit unfinished. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, coin! <laughs> like that, for example. Did, did yeah. that coin just, just like, <laughs> see you later, I'm gonna go become one with the universe. It's one of those things where, in all of its awkwardness, it, I still love it to death, but I can definitely understand there's lots of room for improvement. Thankfully, uh, you have at least a one coin leeway on this level, apparently. <laughs> there's actually several extra coins, but it never hurts to be thorough. <laughs> That coin timer yeah. is pretty unforgiving as well. You got like that, that could have been an outtake though. <laughs> coin going through the wall. Yeah, thankfully not. Okay, now all the cataclysms are dead. Or well, you know, as dealt with as possible. <laughs> so now we can go to the other exciting portion of the 100 coins of this episode. Where am I going? All oh, right, I'm going to the other spot that gave me trouble because I want to get it out of the way before I screw up like 90 coins into it. <laughs> you this know, is like half Mario... hour long, by the way. <laughs> If Mario is trying to, like, get out of trouble with the law, maybe he shouldn't make an entire species go extinct while he's doing it. <laughs> he's trying to give a service. No, like I, yeah, like I said, the cataclysts are an invasive species. That's why the Piantas aren't batting an eye while he kills them wholesale. I guess so, but, like, I don't expect Mario to be a scholar of that sort of thing, so how would he know? <laughs> oh, it's a happy coincidence. <laughs> I, I guess. I mean... Mario is all about happy coincidence. It's true. And Mario just sees a weird critter. He just assumes that it needs to be bopped on. <laughs> I mean, have you ever seen his facial expression? Like, do you remember his facial expression in the opening cutscene of this game? <laughs> well, his blank. mustache covers most of it. But... <laughs> it's pretty good. Like, he's got a blank expression in the in the trial, and then he gets thrown in jail. He's just like, yep, he I'm still in jail has the now. Same, like, expression <laughs> same expression. He's probably he still thinking about that seafood. I mean, he knew the day was gonna come. He just figured, oh, alright, I'm my... ready for this. I was hoping it'd be after the vacation. My least. crimes have finally caught up to me. One too many killed Goombas. <laughs> it's like, I would have thought I'd get thrown in this lava for, you know, the rapid murder, not the pollution. <laughs> not for being framed. I don't remember polluting anything. I just remember <laughs> killing a, about a hundred million Goombas. Well, he doesn't clean up after himself when he does it, so he is kind of cool. <laughs> There's Goomba jam everywhere. Is that more like littering than polluting? Uh... Well, I don't know. If you kill the person and leave the corpse, is that polluting or littering? <laughs> the, definitely an interesting question. Swing physics! I... Wow. Your fear is palpable. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> I, I just don't want to touch As is your... It. As is depth perception problem, also powerful. Uh, depth perception will forever plague me in any 3D game where I can't get a good sideways angle. Ooh, nice! <laughs> good enough, we're out of here! <laughs> that section is just so prone to things going wrong that it's like, let's just get that done second. Look at this freaking water. This is good water. Yeah, the water is really nice. This is a game, game that is incredibly pretty. GameCube was a good console for water effects. 
Really nice. As That's is why the Wii. Made this game in particular, they realize this and left. Probably. Let's make a game about water. Oh, hey guys, it's time for the most exciting part of the 100 coin story. Rabbit are facing the watermelons repeatedly. Oh Wait, my gosh, more really? Than once on the same one? This is like a multi coin block that you can only hit once every 10 <laughs> seconds. I hate this 100 coin shine, and I don't like 100 coin shines to begin with, so. Do you have to do this? <laughs> yep, uh, otherwise you're not gonna have enough money. Wow, you really did find the absolute best <laughs> shine for. Well, you know, I figured might as well go on some of the low points and some of the high points. <laughs> this is like, I have no memory of this. <laughs> Like, I, it's yeah, a big I, void in my memory. I, I, I know exactly. I did not, I did not 100% it. Uh, yeah, this neither is, did I. I know specifically, <laughs> I did not get the 100 coin shines, so I know I don't remember doing this. I remember Mario with a swag shirt and glasses, so I must have 100% <laughs> You did it then. You have done this at some point. Yeah, but it's, uh, uh, like, like Alka think... said, it's just the highlights of it you remember, and the rest, like, I somehow completely forgot about the Chuckster stage, of all things. <laughs> I, I could not forget the Chucksters. I love I the Chucksters. <laughs> I think you got the Hawaiian shirt and the sunglasses without like 100%ing it. It was like a, not the... completely 100%. I think it's like... just if you beat the game, no? Uh, you get the. I'm pretty sure you get the sunglasses for 30 shines and the Hawaiian shirt for 120. Uh, mm. you get, you How many make... are there total? 120. Because... Because... You make Mario look like a oh. uh, Magnum PI or something. <laughs> He I thought I remember the awesome. Hawaiian shirt, and we didn't 100% this Stupid, and these are also stupid. <laughs> <laughs> There's only three melons, thankfully. <laughs> I'm still too many. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there's no- okay. Nintendo, work with me here. Why couldn't you just body slam the fruit <laughs> once, and five coins come out, and then it's a done deal? And also, what the heck? <laughs> I see how the, the kids these days are all into them MMOs and the grinding and all that. <laughs> I I don't think that was in at Sunshine's release. <laughs> watermelons, five out of five. <laughs> Collect coins from watermelon corpses. <laughs> yeah, I... What you're saying is that Nintendo was progressive about introducing oh, this yes. concept. Yes, of course. Exactly. Oh, man. Mario's I'm... using his very... Uh, the same skill rotation. <laughs> yeah. I mean, normally you had to like get these bashed by cataclysts or through the wall or something, but it, for some reason you can clip it into your body. That works fine too. Now you can actually go to easy to gather coins. All right. Great, great. It's like when Pink Pink has a burst of like swag when she gets unhinged from a tedious task. She like it does crazy looking parkour through the level. There's a blue coin under here, by the way, so I'm being, like, excessively careful. <laughs> what? There it is! <laughs> oh. It's way- it's like got little teeth, it's like- <laughs> They don't even show up as question marks. <laughs> they, they do, but... Uh, this- uh, that's just an obstacle entirely made by myself, so... <laughs> yeah, well, I mean... There's no blue coin counter. That just makes no sense. Yeah. yeah. Yes! 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 <laughs> Here we go! This is what I remember from when you streamed this Me game. Me too! I, well, I think I had Rome draw... Someone draw fan art of that. Just Mario <laughs> majestically yeah. flying up a hill. Yep. Well, it's the fastest and safest way! I don't have to go by the cataclax this way! Mario, please defy physics with your stomach. Okie dokie! And now the last melon, the pink one! <laughs> Why hasn't anyone programmed Mario's belly sliding into some X yet? <laughs> give it time. Oh give wait, it. do you want to torture the birds too? <laughs> the green birds do give you a oh coin! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Tedium, thy name is... Re uh, what's this place again? Gelato Beach. Gelato Beach. <laughs> Rico like, Gelato is such a delicious food and it... Brought the like the worst stage in this game. It's, it would I mean, have melted act, by now. The rest of the stars are actually kind of nice in this, except for the watermelon festival. I don't know. I, I, I would I would say that Gelato Beach is probably the most repetitive of the worlds in this game. But it does have the giant Wiggly rattle. <laughs> yeah, but like does... you just have that, the sandbird, and maybe the watermelon gimmick, and that's it. The rest <laughs> is just. I don't even remember what the rest are. 
Oh, uh, we have a standard secret stage, one of the easier ones. Uh, we have red coins over in the coral reef, so they're at least all in one spot. And I'm having difficulty matching <laughs> this with my face. Hey, but it. There we go. <laughs> you know what I think is weird about this game? Power lines. Power lines in a Mario game. It's just, they're just there. It's just there. They're not. Are they doing... connected to anything? At <laughs> I don't all? think so. They're, they're, Are they powering they're... anything at all? Are these watermelons grown with electricity? They're probably just there for the birds. <laughs> probably. <laughs> so that that set up that by blue the birds. That blue bird there. <laughs> that blue like, bird. Well, the humans have this auditorium that leads to nowhere to sit. We should have one too. Did the birds die when you rob them? Yeah, they disappear. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, let's just have a counter for murdered cataclacks, birds, and melons in this episode then. <laughs> well, I mean, cataclacks by their name could infer that they're kind of ducks, so they count as birds. <laughs> you know what? When you when you headbutt a watermelon, your uh, water tank should fill up. Yep, 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 yep. Yes. Oversight. It should fill up with whatever is inside Yoshi's. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the Yoshi's in this game. <laughs> We're at 92 coins. We're almost there, guys. Just a little bit more. More bird torture. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, wow. Triple All kill. No. Spot. I got two of them. Okay. Let's see All right, if I can this get is this. the part where you die. <laughs> Oh my god. You have to have a pretty good mashing figure to pull that off. This looks painful. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Mario. Mario's <laughs> made of like rubbers. What is he doing right now? He's like. He's holding the hover nozzle handles. Oh. <laughs> He's revving up. <laughs> I was debating which coins would be the safest, and I decided to go with the one that doesn't have a blue coin sitting at the top. Power lines! They're actually easier to climb onto when they're shaking in this game. <laughs> Am I they're really thick. They really are, and they're perfectly safe to walk on, apparently. <laughs> Pink is considered. I mean, that part is accurate, but uh. Well, also, if they're not notice? if they're not actually powering anything, there's probably no electricity going. <laughs> the potential for fall damage here is just painful. Because <laughs> of course just... I'm doing this no damage, because you know, it's what well, I do. <laughs> yeah. I guess these That's are just aesthetic. How you exert your dominance problems. over video games. <laughs> 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 nice. Type of Walk and Mario, because this makes perfect sense. Can he actually Wait. lose his balance there? No. Mario is a man of perfect balance. Slightly more exciting than what we've been doing for the past. maybe. <laughs> you can see which coins I, mean, I it, want. <laughs> yeah. It kinda looks like platforming a little bit. Almost. I kinda. There's I, the illusion. I see which it. coins you want and which coins you don't want. Oh no! Oh. Uh. <laughs> Thrills! Chills! But I can't make it all the way back up, so we're gonna have to come back to the other one. Oh, oh Pink just oh, wall jump boy. just wall jump off the <laughs> off the post or something. I don't have enough momentum to do that. You lose all your momentum on the higher ropes. Oh. Still gone the the ro the rocket nozzle. Yeah, that thing terrifies me. Just because it's so easy to accidentally hurt yourself. I mean this looks like it was built nozzle. with the rocket nozzle in mind. It is. Like it I just feel so safe with my hover nozzle. <laughs> Should've used a turbo nozzle. I'm sure that would've been relevant here. Oh man, the turbo nozzle is still just awesome. <laughs> it's, it's kind of the best thing about this game, other than the no no packs levels. Okay, what does the... Uh, do, does, does the um, controller pad do anything in this game? I mean the D-pad? Yeah. I don't think so. Also, we get to end this off on a high note, at least. A very high note, literally. Okay. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, I see. Let's get our last coins, Let guys! Let's see what you're doing. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> From about now, a mile in now, the air. What if the shine still just appeared where you got your last coin? <laughs> that would be... In the air and you had to go all the way back up and then try and flip into it. Oh my it would gosh. be horrible. <laughs> That that dive, hilarious. That dive would be hilarious. lethal. I remember in Mario 64, in the first spin, the bomb battlefield, the coins that you get with the wing cap. Sometimes that would be my hundredth coin, and it was just utter hell to try to light up the cannon just right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thankfully, these right. are slightly smarter. <laughs> Honestly, this went by better than I thought it would, in theory. <laughs> yeah. And but hey, you know what's also a benefit of doing console recordings over my usual emulator recordings? That. Um... It means that I have, still have outtakes handy. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I knew I there would be outtakes for this. Appreciate that cataclacs are in this shot. <laughs> so uh, the prune is not on its best look. <laughs> <laughs> so let's uh, let's emphasize the pain that is failing these runs. This is at five times speed, so don't worry, it's gonna go back pretty quick. <laughs> I mean, I tried not to kill them at first. I did. I did. I tried not to kill them. And you know, it was really annoying because even when I'm bashing my head into these melons, they keep on waking up, being a pain, and being swirring me, so I had to keep knocking them out. <laughs> like, the cataclacts I single handedly make this entire process so much more annoying than it needs to be. And they don't, well, they don't even have any hands. Dang it! I was gonna make that joke. Ah. If you remove the cataclacks of this level, there is literally nothing left. <laughs> also that. They're, they're the they are the obstacle. They're also they're also kind of an important mechanic for the level. Um, I forgot that there was literally no other enemies in this level. Yeah, it, that's it. This is the enemy type. It's cataclacks. I don't know. These watermelons are pretty vicious too. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget about the birds. They're gonna get you. Hanging out there on their power lines. Oh, this but is. There just... are birds that give you blue coins. Oh, yeah. hey, yep. As you can see right there. And that doesn't go away either, so that's a constant tripping hazard. <laughs> oh. Like, what's oh, your? What happens if you accidentally touch a blue coin? Can you? I can reset the game. <laughs> you need to reset the game before it saves, basically. There's the same well, prompt. I can just yeah. continue, but okay. it's permanently picked up, so I just gotta reset the game. Same thing yeah. if I pick up a nozzle that I haven't touched yet in the level. I like how this is a mystery as to where it's a it's a mystery to where you're gonna fail because you're or halfway done. Now what this... Nintendo's gonna do is they're gonna do an HD re-release of this game and they're going to forget the blue coin counter, but they are going to add the wonderful new invention of auto saving. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's okay. I did my run through the game on this version. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I just imagine if they do an HD remaster of this game, that it will. Uh -oh. And here's what ended the run. There Look at this! Look colors. at this bullshit! <laughs> what? <laughs> Didn't even react to being sprayed. Oh man, the watermelon didn't get crushed. Look at that cataclysmic swag <laughs> <ball>. <laughs> It's like I'm out. <laughs> Brown as duck, right there. <laughs> and now I'm at sixty some odd coins again, and oh, we're at this man. situation. <laughs> This is controller snapping levels of. I was pretty pissed at each of these outtakes because it just takes so long. <laughs> this is. I'm just imagining the tree suddenly developing a gravitational vortex and sucking you into that blue coin. It's like you know, I'm just gonna jump off, you know. That's oh, gonna be, oh, too, too shallow. shallow. What? Too shallow. It was too shallow. Like, Mario didn't remember? even like do any reaction to being hurt there. I don't think. Yeah. That's just like even he wasn't aware he got hurt. <laughs> Mario's like, well, both of my legs are broken. I think I'll just sit here and hope someone calls the hospital. Past me is not happy. <laughs> it appears so. Yeah, Mario this was much designed. less painful. We only had three coins. <laughs> much less painful. Immediately diving into a pose. <laughs> So, uh, then there's this outtake. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> These freaking MLG cataclysts, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> what is the matter with you? <laughs> I get it, we get it. I think okay. we got it. <laughs> I may have had some fun with that one. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's amazing. Mario is very <laughs> pleased. <laughs> Whatever, man. Well. <laughs>
probably be saying something while I'm in the call. Oh, my God.